Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will discuss about repeater in our QTQML application and we will see what is the use of repeater and what are these basics property and how repeater, repeater works. So let's start. So let's first of all import the QTQ controls. So controls and also import the QTQ layouts. Okay. Now here we create the one column column layout and now let's create the one rectangle control and assign the basic width and height property like width is the 50 and height is also 50 and now let's set the basic color property yes like set the red color and let's apply the um, text okay so rect text okay let's apply the uh, some text on rectangle rectangle and also set the anchors so center in parent now let's run the application and check it So you can see here we create a one rectangle control but what happened we if we want to create a number of rectangles without writing this same code again and again so that's why we use repeater so let's create the repeater okay now just simply copy this code in repeater and here we have to define the model property so now let's set the uh, let's create a 10 rectangles okay and now let's run the application and check it so you can see the all 10 rectangles are automatically created and aligned in our QTQML column layout so you can see we don't need to write this same code again and again so it automatically created also you can use the uh, let's apply the uh, some border property border width is 2 and now let's run the application and check it so you can see also you can apply the use the repeater in row layout and check it so you can see now let's create one more things now let's here we create the one rectangle out of the repeater And write the same code here again change the this color like a green color okay and now let's create this same rectangle after the repeater controls so here first and this is the second okay now here let's also apply the radius so let's apply radius here so let's set the 25 okay and now let's check it so you can see how repeater works we create a first rectangle and between those green rectangle we create a 10 rectangles between those two uh, two green rectangles okay also you can apply the spacing 20 or 10 you can see this is spacing between two rectangles controls so this is the repeater use also we can apply the delegate also so let's create the delegate also or apply the property so let's create the property integer index and set the value as a zero now let's apply the text here so let's apply the pass your index here okay now let's create the uh, and run the application just change the uh, name here so let's set the r okay and also apply the uh, font property to display font dot bold equal to bold is true and font 
dot point size is also let's say tier 10 and now let's check it and run again so you can see the number will automatically increased so the default value started value is 0 and then up to up to 9 okay. you can also change the uh, value here so let's create tier 30 rectangles So you can see the 30 rectangles are created this is the how repeater works so this is the basic use of repeater in, the, in simple term we can say we don't no, do not need to create a re, write the same code again and again is one kind of loop okay here we use a repeater to create the uh, rectangle in simple term okay single to short you can also create the text property or label property whatever you can do here okay so this is the repeater control and please drop your comment if you have any questions about repeater and in or other like qtqml application or its property and please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you